What's up guys, it's Ian McCoy1999 again back with another video. Today we will be doing the $4,000 Intel build. This build is for people who want to get extremely high end 4K gaming and be able to do some 4K rendering at the same time. And as you can see we're on Newegg and the total price is $3,988, so basically $4,000. So just powering everything will be the Intel Core i7-5960X. Um, this is an extremely powerful CPU running on the LGA 2011 platform. Um, clocked at 3 GHz stock. You could overclock it I guess if you want. It comes with 20 MB of level 3 cache. It has hyper threading so it acts as a 16 core and overall it's an extremely good CPU for gaming and video editing. Uh, next we'll be looking at the graphics cards that will be powering the system. Next we'll be using two Gigabyte GeForce GTX 980 Ti's. Both come with six gigabytes of VRAM, um, extremely powerful card. They come at a stock core clock of 1216 megahertz but they overclock themselves you know boost clock up to 1370 megahertz overall just a very good card and i think two of these in sli will be very powerful and perfect for 4k gaming and 4k video rendering basically they can handle whatever you throw at them and they look very nice too to put our components in we will be using the EVGA 13-HE-E095-KR LGA 2011 um, motherboard. This uses the Intel X99 chipset. Uh, a very nice motherboard. I mean, it, I mean, it just looks great. It has tons of features. Um, you can read. You know, go onto the website, read about this stuff. But it's got onboard CPU temperature monitors. Uh, you know, black and nickel coating, USB Type C on the motherboard, which is really nice. Ten SATA six gigabyte per second boards. That's insane. Ten of them. I mean, you could really fit a lot of drives in this, I guess. Um, but overall, just a great board. Uh, for RAM wise, we're going with a Data XPG Z1. 32 gigabytes of this RAM, uh, DDR4 because that's what the LGA 2011 you know uses. That's what the ch chipset uses and stuff. So that's what we're going with. Um, it's clocked at 2400 megahertz. Not the fastest RAM available, but it's good for what we're doing. Uh, it looks nice, and 32 gigs should be plenty enough for video editing and gaming at 4K. Next to store everything, we will be using a 5 terabyte Western Digital Black. Now, of course, this is your choice. You can use whatever drive you want. In this case, I decided to use the 5 terabyte because it, first off, the Black series by Western Digital is very reliable. 5 terabyte should be, uh, you know, a decent amount of space to store 4K video on and some of your games. I mean, it should be good for now. I mean, I know how 4K video is, but I mean, this should be good for the moment, so... It's not a bad deal. So uh, yeah, that's what we went with. To hold our OS on, we decided to go with the SanDisk Ultra 2, uh, 960 gig SSD. Uh, very fast drive. You can use this to store your OS on, like Windows or whatever you're running. You can use it to store some video and some games on. And it's a very good deal coming in only $249. Next, to cool the CPU, I decided to use the Corsair Hydro Series H100i GTX Extreme. Uh, this is a very nice like, all-in-one liquid cooler. It's very nice looking, very good performance. And if you guys didn't know, Corsair makes some of the best computer parts out there. They make great coolers, great power supplies. I mean, I would definitely recommend going for Corsair if you're going to you know, buy some quality parts. Overall, just a very nice CPU cooler. And it's really not badly priced at all, only $105 right now. To hold in everything, we're using the NZXT Phantom case, which is a very large case. It's a full-size case. Um, it's nice looking. It's nice red and black to match our theme that we're going with here. It should have plenty of space to hold all our components in. It comes in multiple colors, but in this case I decided to use the red and black just to match the color of the case. 
And overall, it's a great case because I, in my opinion, NZXT makes some of the nicest cases out there besides companies like Corsair. But I would definitely recommend this case if you are going with this build. Uh, last but not least is the power supply. I've decided to go with the Corsair AX1500i uh, power supply. Now this is an, just an amazing power supply, guys. I mean, look at how many cables this comes with. This is just amazing. 1500 watts of power it's great seven year warranty i mean this is just a great power supply it should be easily able to power a system um it's 80 plus titanium certified which is the best of the best it's got tons of features as you can see down here you can you know customize it and all that but overall it's just a perfect power supply for this build so um yeah guys that's pretty much my uh idea of the ultimate intel build for four thousand dollars i hope you guys like this video please comment rate and subscribe see you guys later